We need a theme song, and by we I mean you. For your little show. Thank you for being a friend. Travel down the road and back again. Your heart is true. You're a pal and a confidant. Live through a party. All right. Let's make some overnight refrigerator rolls. Yes! They're the most delicious. Uh, we make these for every holiday. As the name implies, you have to um, make them overnight. So we're making the dough today and then we'll roll out the rolls tomorrow and let them rise and bake them. This is a recipe that I still have not perfected, so now's my chance. Everybody's a little too little too dense or a little you know something's not quite right can't do it like susan gladys yet but i will i know i keep trying i um my challenge is getting them the right size okay I haven't mastered that today, yet today i'm using suzanne's mixer well me too gladys's mixing bowl oh so that's cute i can't point to the hardware but Okay, let's do this. Okay, teach me. <laughs> okay, so we have our warm two and a half cups of water. Then we're gonna soften our yeast, our two packets of yeast or four and a half teaspoons of yeast. So I'm just gonna dump that in my hot water. I got the last jar of yeast from Target today. Dang, it's fine. I'm supposed to make these rolls. Now, why are people hoarding yeast of all the things? Like, I make bread, what, four times a year, maybe? I, I don't know. Yeast. Okay, so I'm stirring this yeast in the water just to, to soften it. I think a lot of times it says, what, like 120 degrees for the temperature of the water. I'm not a perfectionist about my cooking, so I never measure it. Um, I just. I didn't even know you were supposed to do that. I just. Yeah. I mean, Sue's never did that. She just got it pretty hot out of the tap, but not too hot because if it's too hot, it'll kill the yeast. But if it's not hot enough, it won't activate it. All right. Good. We're gonna set that aside. So now we're gonna um, mix together our ingredients. Okay. First thing, we will uh, put the yeast in. The softened yeast. Then we are going to add our three-fourths of a cup of melted shortening. And then we are going to add three-fourths of a cup of sugar. Next we're going to add two eggs. start to mix that together before I start to add in the flour. And now, when you feel good about your ingredients being mixed, we're going to add four cups of flour. teaspoons of salt. The directions say stir and then beat until smooth about one minute. I'm always worried about over mixing and then I think I 
undermix sometimes because I'm so trying not to overmix and then it doesn't get mixed enough, you know? Why? Did Mrs. Adamson give you a complex about overmixing your muffin? I had a really bad seventh grade year at home ec. I, don't, I never worry about that with my bread. Maybe that's my problem. Because it always turns out too dense and I'm always, I always think, I didn't overmix it, I swear! Or maybe I'm undermixing. I don't know. Someone will tell me. Someone will tell you. It's not or maybe you. if this turns out, oh no. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I, I mean, I don't know. I guess I just don't worry about it and it turns out okay usually. Hello. All right. Yeah. Amen. Um, okay. So stir in remaining flour. So that's another four to four and a half cups. I keep my paddle on for this. You say you keep your paddle on for this? Oh yeah. Because it's yeah, I mean, soft dough. So, I've tried using the dough hook before. And I didn't get it. Really yeah, I think mine is a little too soft still. You know what? The last time I made these, I thought the dough was way too soft. Um, it, it was more like a, like a cookie type of dough, yeah. bread dough, and they turned out great. Okay. It tasted amazing, so. Maybe I'll just call it. Yeah, I think, I think I can just try it and see. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna try the dough hook for a little bit here. Oh my God. Because, you know, I always find it interesting this, that this recipe doesn't say to knead the dough. Well, that's why I like this recipe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, was, yeah. Like, okay, so mine today is not as soft as it was the last time I made it. It's more like a consistency of a pizza dough today, which is still pretty soft. Yeah. But the last time I made it when it was so good, it was like more like a cookie dough. So I don't know. Okay. okay. I'm going to leave mine then. Yeah, it's pretty loose. Oh yeah, yeah. Yours is way looser than mine. Here, let me. But it doesn't seem like ridiculously loose, you know. We put these in the refrigerator overnight, so it's gonna set up and. Right. Feels delightful. It does, doesn't it? Something about. Out of dough. Have you ever used this recipe to make cinnamon rolls? No. But I know it makes a really good cinnamon roll. I I've know. eaten a cinnamon roll from this recipe. You've eaten one from this recipe before? Yeah. Okay, well, I probably have two then. I just didn't know it. But I know because I, I see that on her recipe that, you know, you can make cinnamon rolls out of this dough or dinner rolls. And the dinner rolls are so good. Uh, I just do the dinner rolls, but sometime maybe I'll try the... Um, yeah, we should have done a double batch, half cinnamon, half regular. Whoops. Well, I mean, I think the dough is the same. We could still split it and use half for rolls and use half for cinnamon rolls. Yeah. You know, tomorrow morning we could do that if we wanted to. <laughs> Rod saying yes. <laughs> All right, well, we'll see what tomorrow brings.